Circuit City pulled the plug on its own creation, the DivX home video format that never took off. The problems? Rival retailers like Best Buy and Candy refused to support the format. And Hollywood Studios didn't produce enough movies in DivX, fearing it would cut into video sales. I mean, when you walk into a store and you see a $24.99 DVD disc or a $4.49 DivX disc, and without knowing enough about the change, it's very easy for the consumer to make the choice for $4.49. Circuit City teamed up with a Hollywood law firm to create the new format, a version of the digital video disc. It was billed as a solution to a simple problem. People hated returning videos to a store. But the solution proved too complex. Consumers had to buy a DivX player, which cost more than a standard DVD deck. Users had to pay to view movies, $4.50 to unscramble the encrypted DivX disc. After 48 hours, they had to pay another $3 and a quarter to reactivate it. The confusing concept, plus the lack of availability at other national chains, left DivX with just 10% of the digital video disc market. It really eases a burden on Circuit City, and right now, with DivX being dead, I guess you can say, Circuit City doesn't have to continue to plow in money. Circuit City invested more than $200 million in the format. Now it'll spend another $114 million to ditch DivX. Investors cheered Circuit City's move, sending the stock up more than $8, or about 10%. Fred Katayama, CNN Financial News, Los Angeles.